Bruh, Serato Studio has leveled up the sampling game big time. Here we are, and this is the sample we're going to use right here. This is a pretty dope sample. Uh, the link will be in the description box if you want to check it out. It is at 16levels.com. It's called Golden Vintage Sample Pack. So that's what we're using here. And what we're going to do is just slightly just drag that over into the project. And if you're wondering, this does work like Serato Sample, but Serato Studio is a more expanded version, allowing you to lay down drums and so forth. But you get all the perks. So let's go over here, set random, and that will give me random chops. So we hear this part has drums, right? This sample has drums. Now, what if I didn't want those drums in this project? Well, Serato Studio has stems. So basically you could break down stuff into different parts. So if I remove that, no drums. With drums, without drums. So yeah, now you could just sample your favorite joints and now you can just take away whatever you want out of the elements that he have. So you have guitar. So this has a guitar in here. And that takes away the bass at least. So that's cool. But what about the keys here? What? That's crazy. So let's bring that back. I know there were some vocals in here. Right there. So let's see if we can get rid of that. Okay, so, you know, there is some limitations or at least with this sample. So that's dope though. And yeah, from here, you know, the other workings, if, you, if you're just new to Serato's sample or studio, uh, you can time stretch and it does have some really good time stretching. Probably the best time stretch in the game, to be honest. Let's be real. If you DJ, then you already know the vibe. Other things we're gonna do, I guess I could just go ahead and try to cook up. You know, this is the first time that I use Serato Studio. I've used Serato Sample, so I'm gonna find my chops. I'm gonna remove the drums, though. And then you have this mode right here where it plays through. That's more like the MPC, you know, for those who don't know, you know, I'm an MPC head at heart. So. And if you're wondering, yes, uh, you can use any MIDI controller, DJ controller that you want. So that's one of the cool things about it. Let, let me show you what I'm doing here on the chops. So preliminary things that I will do, I will go over here to the hamburger menu at the top left part of the screen and I will turn quantize off because I don't do that. You know, we don't do that over here. You might do it, but we don't. So I'm going to go over here to the scene and make sure that is at least a four bar because why not? And let's try to record. You can go and set up metronome right here and then hit record. Let's go. Uh-huh. Turn that uh, metronome off. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can do some editing. It seems pretty simple and sweet. This is probably a, wow, this, this is actually pretty decent. It's comprehensive. Go over to three, four, and then uh, we'll fix some of that stuff. So I like that. It's, the piano roll seems pretty hands-on and easy to use. So let's get some drums going on this thing. So to my understanding, you would just go over here and, you know, add drums. And then I'm going to use some of the drums that comes with it. I, I know all the people, you know, MXX Audio, Decap, you know, names like that. You can't go wrong. So I found this hip hop drum kit over here in the drums category. And this is how it'll sound like.
let's go ahead and lay that out here and let's get it. So let's get that metronome count in. tip guy here. Uh. Mm. So we are getting more into it. I know that there's a mixer because the sample in itself is a little much. So I just hit this mixer sign right up here if you missed that. And I will see which track is in. So I, all I had to do is just hit space bar. Uh-huh. And then I see that you can expand it too, so you can mess with other things. So what I'll probably do is just lower the sample itself. It is a bit much. And then I'll do a, matter of fact, let's go back into the deck here. Uh-huh. And I will uh, select all and filter. Don't forget, we have the ability to remove that bass. So if you want to lay out your bass in a, on a separate track, you can. I'm going to take an educated guess and say add instrument. And let's see that. Uh, we are in the intro or whatever. That's the scene. So it's kind of like, it reminds me of a machine, like the machine workflow as far as that goes. So we got different sounds here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna check one out and then get it. This doll a lot. Me likey. Me likey. Yeah. So I like this doll a lot and I'm having a good time. So let's go ahead and add one more instrument to it. Let's see what we got. And uh, I guess maybe something like keys or something like that. And if you notice, there is playing keys. So you can play in key. You can turn it off if you want to go into chromatic. And if you mess up, you can go right here and you can easily clear out everything. So let's go ahead and do that again. So I like that. That's that's really dope. That comes in handy. And I messed up again. That's cool. All right. there I'm cool with that so my overall first impressions of the cook-up and the stems the stems first dope really dope and it's great to see companies innovate and continue to innovate I know that isotope has similar technology with RX and isotope ozone but applying that to sampling will be beyond helpful and many people like me that are a big time sample head will enjoy this. Holy crap, does this make me not want to use the MPC? But at the same time, I really do like it. And my first impression of the DAW in itself, thoroughly enjoy it, very smooth. Yeah, it wasn't as hard. And I looked at the tutorials and stuff like that provided by Serato, shout out to OP Miller and Destruct, man, you know, you my guys. But yeah, tell me how you feel about it.